Hello, as you know, my name is Kint on the Tech Pro, and today we are going to be answering another question. This question might actually look simple, but it's a question that if you have not really thought of it, then you likely not know the answer. So the question is, what is the difference between factor analysis and principal component analysis? So let's start with the first one, which is principal component analysis. Uh, already you know that principal component analysis is concerned with explaining the variance between variables, while factor analysis is concerned with explaining the covariance among variables. So what do we mean? Uh, let's start with talking about factor analysis. Of course, I explained it before now. Uh, so let me take a pen. So in case of factor analysis, we have something like we have something like um, variables x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. So what we are thinking is that these variables uh, can be explained using maybe just two factors, f1 and f2. And I use an example to explain it. So yeah, students take uh, courses, let's say English, maths, literature, uh, business, accounting, maybe several other subjects they take and up to X and so all these subjects can actually be explained using only two factors uh, and these factors are maybe just say quantitative quantitative and verbal reasoning so if a student is good in quantitative reasoning then he will likely do well in let's say maths or maybe accounting and a little in business but if a student is good in, in, in verbal reasoning, in this case, this case, it will do well in English, maybe literature, uh, business, and things like that. So in case of factor analysis, we have two completely different factors uh, that are different from all these original variables that we have here. Now, when it comes to PCA, we're also talking of something similar. We're also reducing the variables, but this time we are reducing it into principal components PC1 and PC2. So PCA uses total uh, the total variance, while factor analysis uses shared or common variance between factors. So in case of uh, this, in case of F1 and F2, we can say that F1 let me try to use a line to relate this F1, which is quantitative, relates to, to maths, also relates to accounting, right? But F2 relates with English, uh, relates with literature, and relates with business. So we've used two, two, uh, two factors to explain the common variance. So in this case, you are saying that the variation between English, literature, and business, we have very low uh, low variance between uh, English, literature, and business. And also the, the variation between math and accounting is also low, you see? And we, when we come, up, come to variation between English and math, you see it's very high. So we are trying to combine the covariance between among variables. That is how we do in case of factor analysis. But in case of principal component analysis, we use the total variance. So we are trying to calculate what is the relationship between English. So in case of let me let me use it uh, in terms from PC uh, right from PC two. So. We are asking ourselves, sorry, let me use another color paint so that I can make it clear. So in this case, we are relating English to PC1, relating mass to PC1, 
literature to PC1, everything relates to PC1, and the same thing for PC2. So in this case, we are using total variance. So to summarize it, we have that FA, FA identifies Latin's, uh, Latin's uh, variables, which we refer to as factors, but PCA does linear combination. So just to summarize, PCA is concerned with the, the total variance or the variance, while factor analysis is concerned with covariance. So that is a keyword. And again, PCA uses total variance, factor analysis uses shared or common variance among factors. Factor analysis identifies Latin variables and PCA performs linear combination. So this is where I'm going to stop. I hope this has been clear and informative. If, if so, please uh, like this video. And we are going to now say in the next question, where we are going to answer the question is, uh, that says, what is measure of sampling adequacy?